Hi, I'm John McCoy, Columbia Association's Watershed Manager. With me is Danielle Bodner, our Watershed Assistant, and we are at Wild Lake. And behind us, you'll see quite a bit of activity. We are uh, working with our long-term sediment management plan, and as part of that, we are routinely maintaining our large lakes by removing sediment. This lake receives about 1,500 yards of sediment a year from the stream up at the head. All of that material ends up in the head of the lake, creates an island, and it takes up water storage capacity here in the lake. So our current project, we're actually removing about 1,500 or 15,000 yards of sediment from the lake, most of it from the headwaters, some of it from the cove down here. And we have a number of uh, have a number of things that we're doing to uh, reduce the environmental impact. Um, there is a sediment, a turbidity screen here that stretches across the lake, which confines the larger sediment particles to this upper end. Danielle can tell you a little bit about the monitoring we're doing. We have been conducting water quality monitoring throughout this process which involves taking samples from the lake and we've been measuring the turbidity. So part of that means we're sampling the water quality above and below the turbidity curtain to see if it's working, if it's doing its job to keep those fine sediments from moving to the lower parts of the lake. So process-wise, this is a little different than the last dredging. Last time we had dredging here, it was hydraulic. We had a system where there was a hydraulic cutter up here at the lake and it actually dug into the sediment, sucked it up, and pumped it with water down to a treatment plant that was built down below the dam. This process is uh, quite different. You'll see out behind us here, we have a hoe on a barge, which just reaches in, scoops up sediment, and puts it in that empty barge there. There is a push boat on the lake, and they take that barge when it's full, push it over to this site, and there's another hoe here, which unloads those barges and puts that into trucks. Now, as part of our sediment management plan, we have built a sediment placement site over off of Murray Hill Road. That's where this material's going. One of the great cost savings in this whole operation is we're actually only taking material about eight miles from here where when we did the dredging before, we were hauling it all the way to Harford County. We take the wildlife into consideration when planning out these sediment removal projects. You can actually still see birds, turtles, and other wildlife in the area. However, they just stay out of the immediate work zone. Our sediment management plan calls for routine removal of sediment from all three of our big lakes. Our next stop will be uh, Lake Alcorn to clean out the four bay there. And when we think about this, I think one of the important things we need to think about is the source of the sediment. Because um, the sediment still keeps rolling in and it is coming from uncontrolled stormwater runoff that is badly eroding all of our streams. For more information about CA's watershed management plan, please visit columbiaassociation.org.